How to Use the CTS DynaSelect Cell Isolation Kit The Gibco CTS DynaSelect Cell Isolation Kit is specifically designed for the isolation and activation of immune cells in cell processing applications. It consists of a 1-liter isolation chamber, 8 weldable PVC tubes for input and output bags, and a cassette for easy installation. Start by removing the tube holder from the catch on the back of the single-use cassette. Then, remove all the tubes from the catch on top of the cassette. Next, sterile weld compatible bags to the eight weldable DEHP-free PVC tubes. Place bags on the bag hanger, then install them on the DynaSelect. Next, insert the cassette on the DynaSelect Fluidics panel. Ensure that both sides of the cassette are secured on the instrument. Route the isolation bag and tube behind the left pole to avoid tangling. Place the isolation bag in the rocker nest and align the holes with the anchoring points. Raise the poles and the tube holder. Straighten the tubes to ensure no kinks are present. The tube holder is intended to avoid tangling, keep track of tube lines, and ease installation to pinch valves on the DynaSelect. Next, install tubes in the pump, bubble, and pressure sensors. Ensure that the tubes are seated all the way into the recess of the sensors. Insert the tube into the pump and close the pump lid. From the touchscreen, open the pinch valves. Then install the tubes into all the pinch valves. The pinch valves, cassette, and tube holders have letters to ensure the correct placement of tubing. When all the tubes are installed, straighten the tubes and close the pinch valves. Finally, remove or open all clamps in the bags and press on the tubing where the clamp was to ensure there are no kinks in the tubes. Now your DynaSelect system is ready to run.